Aki Safela Manla Aki Aki Safela Manla Aki Safela Manla Aki Safela Manla Aki Aki Safela Manla Aki Safela Manla Aki ki sa fe la mandla Aki ki sa fe la mandla Ah, Mr. Whoa. Big Bless you, man Man, we are always graced with the South African mm, vibes mm, Beautiful, beautiful mm, mm. Okay, today's game We saw Lamontville Golden Arrows Go toe-to-toe with my Melody Sundowns and the game ended not just in a draw, but in a stalemate. No goals were scored in the game. Ugh. Can I get your thoughts on the matchup? They say a, a, a draw for Memolodi <laughs> is tantamount to a loss. Okay? Uh, but today it's not like that. It's not like that. Why do I say so? Because um, I saw a side that was really out there to win a game. But the, will I say, this, the law of football, which means that uh, anything can also happen, did not uh, work out for the melodies, Sundance, out there. But then, I cannot underestimate or underrate the powers of the Golden Arrows. Because even just by the opening of the game, the first minute, you saw these guys blazing, blazing hot with their arrows going to score and. Uh, it was a very good first half, okay? And uh, we saw the first two minutes. In fact, the first two minutes, they've had their uh, two attempts. But then, Sundan came and uh, soft pedaled them, and, and mm. that was it. But then, because, 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 to their goalkeeper and Penga, the guy, Ishmael, the guy was so, so good. And uh, I can't see any other person that will be crowned the man of the match except that, that fella, because he was just there. He did his job so cleanly, okay? But then the technicalities of the game. You find out that um, Mamelodi um, had the balls, eighty mm. percent of the ball today, and uh, they had thirteen shots. That is the, will I say, the disappointing part for me. Mm. Okay, mm. you had thirteen shots in the box of your position. But he could not convert one. Some persons also are there saying, um, Alende is too slow. Uh, Alende, uh, but, but, Alende, Alende created four chances. So what happened to the likes of Ribeiro, to the likes of Shalulile today? So I understand plenty of persons are putting so much blame on it. But let's also not forget that it was also a lucky game for Sundowns. Why do I say so? Yes, there was um, a red card issued to Lebusa in the 46th minute. Just at the re resumption of the second half. But then, my brother, Williams, the goalkeeper, could have also been sent out. He could have also been sent out for that stack. Okay? Um, for some other things, I know some person will be like, okay, it's under, it's under, but that aside. But let's not us also not forget that even with the 10-man squad, even with the 10-man um, players, after um, Lebusa has been sent out, my brother, Sundown played so so good, but the questioner is converting those goals, those chances into goals. Mind you, there is a crucial match coming. The league is already there; they've been crowned the league uh, winners, champions. champions. Okay, but let's not forget the first of June, the encounter, the cup game against Orlando Pirates. Who has been firing? Who has been firing? Okay. Today, I think uh, the winners today for today's game should go to um, Golden Arrows. Reason because uh, the two teams, um, Melody Sundown and uh, Golden Arrows, had um, a match against one particular opposition, and that is Sterling Bosch. I expected um, the fact that Melody won Sterling Bosch and Golden Arrows lost 3 0 to Sterling Bosch. I expected Mamolodi to take charge today. But then, um, uh, <laughs> Goni Arrows did their best. 
and had a very good defensive game too. Memelody should start scoring goals. These few games that are coming should be more like for them to practice against the final. I don't expect them to come to the final against Orlando and play like this. My brother, Orlando Pirates will beat them clean. As in so, so clean like the whistle. With what is what we are seeing happening from the Orlando Pirates game, from the Buccaneers games right now. Omo, those guys are too, too fiery. They are not wasting any chance. One chance, one goal. Two chances, two goals. And they are good to go. Okay. So, Memelody Sundown, I'm waiting for you guys to start improving right now. Don't feel like, eh, hey, we've won the league. You're waiting for the, 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 the cup final. No. You need to. You need to uh, work on yourself. You need to. Rulani, this is a this is one thing for you right now. Go out there and start working on your attacks. Goals needs to come. It's not just about playing tiki taka. Uh -uh. It's not about tiki taka now. It's about converting those chances. You guys are creating a whole lot of chances. I expect that from next game, push, start scoring in goals. And mind you, Ribeiro, Ribeiro wants to be the highest goal scorer. He is 12 on the log. Mabasa is 15. And Reina of Sterling Bosch is 14. You guys need to galvanize together. And let's see. Help this guy now. Help him. Let's see whether he can make it uh, to, uh, to become the highest goal scorer. Well, that's all for today. Um, uh, I hope uh, um, the Sundown fans out there are, uh, are okay, are cool. Okay, because uh, we are expecting more. We hope that uh, some things will be shuffled and let those goals start coming in. We can't wait for those goals to start coming in. All right, thank you so much. You can be part of this conversation in the comment section. Uh, Sundown fans, let us know um, how you guys feel about the matchup today. And one of the very important things I got out from what Mr. Vic said was that Sundowns, you have a game at the final. Don't just, oh, we have won the league, have, and then carry that uh, like a classical attitude into the finals. I mean, you, got, you might just get the shock of your life. So keep firing, mm. as what he was trying to say, and make sure that come the 1st of June, you are ready to take on Orlando Pirates, whom he said, and truly, indeed, they have been firing this season so let's know how you feel about it in the comment section if this is your first time watching this channel welcome this is football intel you can find it in the description box our activities as a channel and what we do and one of the very most important things is that we are passionate about placing african football on the world map letting the whole world know the beauty and the finesse of african football you can check all our past videos you're going to, you're going to see that that's what we have been doing so if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so and click on the notification bell below your screen and also tell a friend share these videos tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend especially those who are lovers of african football that there is a channel called football intel who will be giving them post-match analysis about this beautiful game of football and specifically african football so let the world know and to those of you as subscribers who have been graced occasionally and time to time with our wonderful videos we say thank you see abonga south africa for the love I, I keep saying it anytime i'm reading comments i'm always excited i'm always full of joy because i mean these comments help us to know that i mean what we are doing is really touching the hearts of many thank you for the prayers thank you for the recommendations thank you for the constructive criticisms over time we are so grateful now if you want to show your appreciation to us for the good work we do you can do so through the super thanks two dollars five dollars ten dollars nothing is too small to appreciate our efforts because i tell you a whole lot is being done backstage to put up this wonderful content which you are watching so you can encourage us by the super thanks and we will be glad we will be very very grateful uh, so keep liking keep sharing keep commenting keep those beautiful comments coming remember they help us to know how you guys feel about what we create at this juncture I'm gonna be drawing the curtain I still remain your host of football Intel mr. Dominion chicks and of course doing this beside me all the time no other person than top-notch soccer analyst Mr. Victor Sioku, we both are saying Siabonga, South Africa. Siabonga, Siabonga, South you, Africa. And bye for now.